Hey guys, DT Gaming here. So we are going to continue with uh, fishing on Amber. We're at 67.157. This is right here off the peg, which is at D3. Uh, same setup, guys. The uh, Velo pop up 20 with the uh, white chocolate 18, white chocolate tip. And we got new PVA we made. So this spot is also put 34. All right, we'll see how it goes. All right, first fish at this spot. Second fish on. They are frame sighted. <laughs> Look at her rolly. It's rolling around. Rolly poly. Thanks, bitch. Trying to roll itself back into the water. The only problem with this plate spot, it's hard to um, land a fish because of that, that edge there. I think I just block it up like this, then we can try to land in it. Look at that sunset, I'm gonna act the deep right here. Gotta take that thumbnail for the the spot. I was like, why am I really so slow? I just realized my energy is down to nothing. Still hit the spot. <laughs> no, I hit the clip, I mean. Even with low energy. These horizontal um, weights glide more easier um, than the larger uh, weights. Not the heavier, uh, I mean, the wider, larger weights are, don't really throw that far. Unless you um, basically, well, that's a ghosty. Let me ghosty. And I was trying to say, these right here, the horizontal uh, weights, because they're they're still uh, slender, so they cast more further than the um, the fatter, larger weights. Okay, I heard we got a spooler on here. Uh, 
Here's this one right here. This one's way on that side. I don't know why I do that. I for some reason think that they can somehow turn the fish around. I think it does work with uh, mild sized fish. I feel like I have more control with the fish just by um, jerking it hard enough to one side. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it works? Okay. Give it a little bit of freedom here. Trying to prevent from the friction from burning. Uh, I can't answer him. I know he's talking to me, but I can't answer the guy. I got country on this fish right now. I don't even see color. I mean, it's so dark over there that I don't see anything. So it makes me wonder if this might be a common carp. The top part just kind of like gets darker. I mean, if it was like a mirror or something, you'll be able to see color for sure. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a hard time hoisting this fish. I mean, this one did try to run, but I still think I had it under control um, right from the start. I'm not afraid of long fights. If that's what you guys are thinking. I know I'm um, going about this at a um, harder pace. If I can catch it, I can catch it. I'll try. That's why I even attempt to do. Um, what do you call it? Um, the sturgeons. With this setup. Because I'm not afraid of it. I mean, I see some of you guys laughing because of what I'm using. 
That's fine. I don't really care if you guys laugh about it. We're just gonna net it. Hard to place them. Look at that. Nothing new there. I would say close, but not close. What do you got a fish on that one? Might be our first non marker. Oh, never mind. The marker. Dang, fish look tiny. No fish on that, eh? Oh, well, that's the uh, guy what was the must not be there maybe AFK or something or at least got a fish on Ah, uh, first ugly carp caught I ain't got one on that line I don't know why my cap lock is on. Oh, ghosty. Come on, stop swinging around before I lose you. Bite rate's actually pretty decent. I am feel like I'm finding a little more smaller fish than the other spot. But as you see, this spot's active too. And that's the main reason why I'm doing this video, so you guys can see uh, that this spot is working. But I got two uh, rares out of this spot, so maybe better here but only time will tell okay so another spot we're gonna check out on another video is going to be over here but it's a different um bait setup it's something to do with peaches i'm not sure what it is at the look it up but yeah we're gonna uh check that spot out after Got a nice fish on. Held by the the poles on the on the reel here. I'm a little bit shocked at uh, how much I made on my last in the last session, but without the ghost or the rares, you're not making anything barely. more fish on but I think we made to 29 fish also on the last session 
If we can make above that in the hour, then we I think I would be doing good. But we get little fish like this, that's not helping. Got a nice fish on. I wonder if speed really and actually actually damages your um your friction brake just a little bit more than not speed really. But it did take um, a good amount of time to get that one fish though on the out spot. Although that one took longer for some reason. The one that caught just a minute ago was 19 kg. Are you done running? I might be patient with this fish, otherwise it's gonna keep burning me. If I try to uh, force it in with speed reeling, it's going to just struggle more. It'll probably swim away from you instead. No, I'm not getting spooled, guys. Um, this line has 100 meters less than the rest of the line. I just never replaced it. I'm trying to not spend too much silver. Only what I need for the fishing spots. At least that fish is going the right way. It's going into the little pocket over there. But can't get away. This fish is in the open. So I don't know where the hell that one's going. Yeah, see, I start speed reeling now. The fish is going to start pulling back. So, this guy, be patient. Okay. <laughs> 
This fish is definitely taking longer than the common. So it makes me think this is a mirror or something. We got a fin. Still unable to make what this is. It looks like a common. It's not even that big, so why do they fight so hard? Eighteen point two. I guess it's good size. Finally, get this fish now. Well, that's steady action going on there. <laughs> Another good sized fish on. Now, I kind of hope one of these be a dang trophy. <laughs> I'll be just a trophy though. But it's already kind of given up. Another ghost. Okay, so 28 minutes, we got 16 fish. We got three uh, rare fish here. So we're definitely making some good silver in this one. So this spot is definitely better than the last.
think there's no tip on this one. What the hell? Why are you doing that? I apologize guys for these long videos. Um and I found what happened, why it was really I I had the controller on my lap and and the back button that was um I used the reel was basically against my pant my base my, my leg. I was holding the button and <laughs> when I was trying to check the clip, I was sitting there reeling at the same time. I mean, it happened. Oh. Yeah, the bite has slowed down. I guess because it's noon, maybe it's why. See, it's 40 minutes in, so we got about another, uh, another 20 minutes before we will sell our fish. Spot just fished out, that's all it is. I think we're coming down to our last few minutes on this spot. This one's a little fighter. I mean, it's not a big fish. I mean, you don't feel like it. It's got a little, um... A little pep here. Well, 10, 11 kgs. 14. Okay, I didn't feel like the 14. It felt smaller. So it's looking to me that you get an average of 30 fish out of this, um, out of the hour. Um, I'm gonna guess that you probably can catch more fish if you have a better setup. Cause it don't take you as long to pull in.
Uh, boys, this be our last fish here. This has been, um, in an hour. But instead of you watch me walk back, I'm just gonna skip right straight to it. Alright, nothing at the cafe. There's <laughs> not a single cart for it, no. Not even the mirror one. That must have just expired. What I'm going here for. Maybe. Okay. six minutes. No non markers. So there's our most expensive fish. The two uh, ghosts we have, three ghost seas here. Boy, they get uh, pretty cheap as they get smaller, don't they? So 422 silver. Uh, so this spot is definitely a lot better. So if we take these three fish off, we still make just as much as we did at the other spot. But this spot, obvious yield to more rare than the other one anyways guys i wish you uh best of luck and i thank you all for watching hit that like button appreciate it and i'll see you next time bye guys